Over millions of years, man has not just evolved, he has excelled. Even with only modest evolutionary attributes, we have gone beyond the limits of our nature. We are not the fastest creature on Earth. At top speed, a cheetah can run three times faster than the fastest human being. And yet, we have traveled at over 2,000 miles an hour, and we can circumnavigate the globe in under half a day. Our hearing is a thousand times less sensitive than a bat's, yet our technologies allow us to converse with people on the other side of the world. Our effective eyesight is limited to 600 feet in daylight. An eagle can see a rabbit a mile away. Some spiders can see in the dark, but our telescopes allow us to see objects in deep space trillions of miles away. Through complex technologies, we have extended the power of our brains and bodies. Even now, no computer can match the processing power of the human brain. But what an organ, in its staggering complexity, and its limitless ability to imagine real and hypothetical worlds, the brain truly is wider than the sky. Even though there is only a 2% genetic difference between us and our nearest evolutionary relative, no other creature looks like us or thinks like us. In our evolution, one particular talent distinguishes us from all other life forms. Several million years ago, our earliest ancestor became bipedal. We started to walk on our own two feet. The human pelvis is very different from the pelvis of any other mammal. It's very short, it's very squat. You can see this by looking at a uh, ape pelvis where the hip bones are very long and very flat from front to back. Now, the first ever discovered Australopithecine pelvis was really quite a surprise because it's very human-like in form. And this can be seen clearly if you compare it to a modern human bone from an individual of the, about the same size. Now, the reason this is important is that this pelvic shape has everything to do with the fundamental human characteristic of being able to walk on two legs. Mm -hmm. 